Thanks for joining us for another episode of Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement. I'm here at the News Forum, where all voices matter. There is increasing concern that Canada's long-term economic stability and growth aren't, uh, they are not on the right path. They are exacerbated by trends in productivity, demography, and other trends as well. Here to discuss is Dr. Stephen Globerman. He is a Kaiser Professor of International Business at Western Washington University and a senior fellow at the Fraser Institute in Vancouver. Welcome to Boom and Bust. Thank you. Good to be here. Uh, first off, let's discuss the problem. Let's identify the problem. What is the nature of Canada's increasing productivity and growth crisis? The problem is uh, stagnation in the growth of real incomes. Uh, typically, economists measure that as uh, real GDP, gross domestic product per capita. Since 2015, that, uh, that index has basically stalled out in Canada. There's been no real growth in incomes. And uh, that's reflected in uh, no real growth or very solo growth in productivity. And of course, productivity is what gives you the increase in uh, uh, a real incomes per capita. So um, that, that's, a, that's a huge problem. And the OECD is forecasting very slow growth for Canada ahead over the next two decades. Again, um, this is this is going to be a problem because standards of living in Canada are going to be stagnant unless things turn around. So, how how did this come about? Well, there are from our research at the Fraser Institute, uh, we believe that the main problem is a stagnation in business investment. Um, you can mark 2014 as being a real turning point where business investment growth slowed down, and not just in the oil and gas industry, but but across the board in many industries. And it's growth in business investment that provides the basis for productivity growth. It's investment in machinery and equipment, which embodies new technology. And uh, and the the evidence is very clear that Canada has been suffering a uh, an investment crisis, a business investment crisis for almost the last decade. Yeah, and I, I guess my next question then is, is that uh, indicative of a problem with our business culture or is this a problem of government culture or is it a combination of the two? It, it's it's a reflection of a variety of factors. Again, mm -hmm. our our research and and we've been doing this. We've been looking at this for quite a number of years. Um, certainly, government policy is part of the problem. Um, the Tax Foundation and other organizations that look at tax competitiveness across the developed countries generally rank Canada quite poorly by measures of corporate tax and personal income tax. And it, it's not just high rates of tax, it's also complexity of the tax system, transparency of the tax system. So certainly the tax structure is, is one issue, regulation is another issue. Um, and there are some people who believe that the business culture is a problem, but I think that's difficult to disentangle from the government environment because right. you have government really, and 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 most recently, of course, the move towards green energy is a case in point. In innovation in Canada tends to be a top-down process where government is kind of setting the environment for innovation. Uh, rather than bottom up, coming from small companies and startups, and so Tony, I mean, it, it, it's not a simple one problem answer. It's right. a blend of factors, right? And they, they're, from what you're saying, they're feeding off one another. If if one gets worse, then it means that other things get worse too. Absolutely, yes, of course. Yeah. Um, the the role of government uh, as 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 most people know, has becoming more prominent. And I think it's fair to say that industrial policy as exhibited by the um, subsidies to battery producers is becoming more prominent. And, mm -hmm. and, and our belief is that that is a barrier to innovation. That, that doesn't help, that hurts the innovation process. Oh, so uh, maybe we'll get to this uh, in the next segment, but uh, it's it's not just sort of 
what's been there from the beginning in terms of regulation or red tape. There's, we were actually compounding the problem. Let's, let's uh, get an answer from our guest, uh, Dr. Stephen Globerman, after this break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 